Today's episode is all about how a trip to Value Village where I didn't buy a single thing helped solve my problems. You're listening to the Wellness Simplified Podcast. Simple wellness tips to help you improve your life without turning it upside down. With your host, award-winning fitness instructor, nutrition coach, and wellness expert, Susie Fevens. Good morning, TJIF, for all of those who are listening to this episode on the day it was released. That would be October the 11th, 2019. And tonight is a big night for me because I'm hosting my first yoga at Hogwarts class of the year. I did this initially last year. I did a Harry Potter themed yoga class and and the words of my husband last weekend, this is sounding more and more like a carnival and less like a yoga class. It's safe to say that I go a little bit over the top for these classes and I do it because I wanna give people a fun experience and for $15, like the value is ridiculous, if I do say so myself. Since a lot of yoga instructors charge $10, $12 for a one hour yoga class drop in fee, and I'm charging only $15 for a two hour Harry Potter yoga extravaganza experience. <laughs> And I do that because I want to keep it affordable so people can come. They can bring their families if they want to. Now, Having said that it has turned into more of a carnival than a yoga class, I don't want to give away my secrets. Obviously, after the first class happens, my secrets are going to be known. And even if you came to the class last year, it's a little bit different this year. I've changed some things up because I wanted to make it a bit different. And so I've had to work through some creative issues this week. I've added in some things that we didn't have last year that took a lot of time to put together. And as a result, some of the things we did last year, I've tried to change them to make them a little bit easier for me to implement and prepare for. So there was a few things up until the other day, I still really wasn't sure how I was going to manage them or what exactly I was going to do. And this week has been a really crazy week. You know, I don't like the word busy, so I don't want to say it's been busy, but it's been crazy. I've had a lot of stuff that I needed to get done on Monday night. I told my husband that I had done the work of 17 people on Monday and I stand by that. I got a lot of stuff done. I've done a lot of stuff this week and I've had, like I said, these things that I had to try and figure out what I was going to do. And I, I really had no idea up until a couple days ago. Now, when things aren't quite as hectic, it is very normal for me to go teach my morning class on Tuesday and Thursday, and then go into New Minus. On Tuesday, I pick up groceries, I'll run some errands, I'll take care of some things, and then I'll go home and get on with my work day. On Thursdays, I usually go into New Minus and I usually go waste some time on purpose because I'm teaching in the morning, I'm teaching in the evening, and I'm working all afternoon. And that can make Thursday turn into a 13 hour workday very, very quickly. So even though it feels weird to me, and I still feel like I'm quote unquote, wasting time, I will generally force myself to go just look around, do whatever on Thursday, because I know as soon as I get home, I'm going to dive into work. So this week, I knew that Thursday was not going to be a day when I could waste any time because it was going to be the day before Hogwarts and I was going to have a lot of things that needed to be done. So on Tuesday, after I picked up my groceries, I had a few errands. I had some things I had to pick up at the dollar store. I had to go to um, a couple other places. I, I don't want to give away my secrets in case somebody listening to this is coming to the class. So I had some things that I had to pick up and I still had these problems, these things that I had not figured out. And I decided to go to Value Village. That's somewhere that I go on my wasting time times. I like to go and see if there's any good Tupperware that I can pick up for cheap. Um, I also like to look at the books to see if there are any books that I'm looking to purchase. Because sometimes when I read books from the library, as you know, I get a lot of the books I read from the library. Sometimes there's ones that I want to add to my own library. So I will check there. I will look at like the Blu-rays. I'll take a swing by shoes, whatever. So I was wandering around on Tuesday thinking to myself, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't be here at all. I have way too many things to do. I have too many problems to solve. And I'm here wasting time at Value Village where I know I'm probably not going to buy anything. I would say 95% of the time I go there, I don't buy anything. And here I was just wandering around and thinking, what a waste of friggin' time. And then I solved 
all of my problems. Okay, I didn't solve all of them, but I solved the biggest problem I had been having for weeks regarding this class, something that I just could not figure out what I was going to do or how I was going to do it. And right there in Value Village, I saw something and the light just came on and I said, yes, that is the answer right there. I didn't buy that thing because I actually had that same thing at home that I could use. So I didn't even have to buy anything. And had I not been at Value Village, I probably never would have seen that thing because it's not something that just sits out. It's something that was put away. I would never have thought of it. I never would have seen it. It never would have come to me. So even though I was quote unquote wasting time at Value Village, it was because I was wandering around that I was able to solve that problem. And as soon as I solved that problem, three other problems solved themselves very quickly as a result because it was sort of like a domino effect. As soon as I had that one sorted, a bunch of other things got cleared up. And I thought this was such a good story for this week's episode because I've had on my notes um, for the podcast something that was said in a training I went to a few years ago and I haven't figured out how quite to make it into a story for the podcast, and this worked out perfectly. When I was at the meditation and mindfulness training a few years ago, one of the other people in the training is a graphic designer, and she said that one day she was sitting in her office and she was just looking out the window daydreaming, and her boss came in or he walked by and he was like, what are you doing? She was like, oh, I was just taking a break. And he's like, I don't pay you to take a break and to sit staring out the window. And she said, you know what? Actually, you do. Because when I stop and take a break and stare out the window, that's when I have all my creative ideas, those creative ideas that I implement in my work. And without those breaks, I wouldn't have those ideas. So I've been thinking about this for a long time. I know that I've recorded videos about this sort of before, how when everything is crazy and you have so many things to do and you do not have time to stop, that's when you really need to stop because that's when your problems get solved. Another way I like to liken it is to a snow globe, a snow globe that has a nice little scene in the center. If you pick up that snow globe and you shake it so the snow is flying everywhere, you can't really see that scene. So if you say that the shaken up snow globe is the mind of somebody who has a million things going on, and they're looking for an answer, and in this case, they're looking to figure out what the scene is in the snow globe. If they keep shaking the snow globe, they're never going to get a good look at what that scene is. But if they stop, step away for a few minutes, sit that snow globe down, the snow settles, and they will see clearly what that center scene is. And the same thing is true For all of us, when we're having some sort of creative issue or some problem that we're trying to solve or something we're trying to figure out, you don't figure it out when you're sitting there at your computer banging your head against the wall. You don't figure it out when you are stressing yourself out and you're working yourself to death and you're up until two in the morning trying to type up all the reports and you still don't know how you're going to deal with X, Y, and Z tomorrow. It's when you stop and take a few minutes that those problems become clear and the answers become clear. So did Value Village really solve all of my problems? Not exactly, but taking that time in Value Village to just wander around and not purposefully look for an answer, just wandering around and I just happened out of the corner of my eye to see something that suddenly solved an issue I had been having but wasn't trying to solve in that moment staring out the window, going for a walk, having a bath or shower, sometimes you're driving the car. Those are when all of your problems and ideas come. It's not when you're sitting there trying to like bore an idea into your brain, like I just need any idea. That's not when it happens. You need to step away, maybe gaze out the window, maybe take yourself for a trip through Value Village. You may just solve your problems. That is it for this week's episode. I have to go get ready for Hogwarts. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you are in Canada, like I think most of you are, happy Thanksgiving. Take some time to stare out the window or go for a walk. Enjoy these beautiful fall colors. You never know what problems you may solve. Thank you as always for listening. And if you are on Instagram, follow me there at Suzy Confesses, S-U-Z-I Confesses, and I will talk to you next week.